asylum news now in the Telegraph, Cressida, and the latest plans to house refugees could well burst the dam of goodwill in they certain could. quarters. Uh, Al Murray and Dan Buster's historian blast appalling plan to house migrants at RAF Scampton. So about 80 years ago, in fact, almost 80 years to the day, the amazing uh, Dan Buster's uh, what's the word? I don't know the <laughs> occasion <laughs> happened. Um, and, and at this, this site, uh, it's, there's now plans for this historic site to house migrants. How Rather, familiar are you with the Dam Busters? Not very not familiar. Not, I've been that on Wikipedia your way today. Around it. Well, it looked very impressive. I have to say, I didn't know that Al Murray was that interested in Second World War history. Oh, yeah, no, he's a but big... I'll no, no, that's a his main job now. Pub landlord he does at weekends if he's got time to fit it in. But We Have Ways yeah. is, is one of the country's top podcasts, yeah. Well, I, mm. I did like Second World War history at school, uh, so I'll have a listen. So, and James Holland, who is his psychic, who is the Dan Buster's historian, is the brother of Tom Holland, who's probably the country's best historian at the moment. They're an amazing kind of historian family. Well, his, Tom his Holland point. does the podcast The Rest is History with Dominic Sandbrook, who's also brilliant. So if you want to know about history, the Holland boys have just got the whole thing sewn up. Yeah. They're like the Cray twins of history but podcasts. Getting, getting back to the Sorry. story. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Sorry. Like, I mean he, they're saying, oh, we can't have these immigrants in this RAF base because it's going to, oh, it's going to be terrible for the base. It's going to, you know, what, what do you think it's going to do to the villages? Yeah, they're yeah. going to be, if you dump 700, some of the villages will have a population of like 400 people yeah. and they, they put 700 people in the village. These uh, people who come across in small boats and it's like, you know, yeah. these, and these aren't people who've been cherry picked that are doctors and no. nurses and stuff. It's just anybody who can get in something that floats and come, comes and across And when the channel. people talk about like, uh, oh, it's a few hundred here or there, there's this image that they're sort of dispersed like a yeah. fine mist across the country. No, they tend to land in a Yes. I mean, it's like that. Um, you've probably seen that footage from, I can't remember the name of the uh, particular sort of political unit within South, South Chicago. Yeah. But the black community there are just complaining that yeah. the immigrants coming in because it's, it's activated them, it's galvanized them, and so they, they're giving voice to their anger. Yeah. This is what happens just occasionally, as with this example. Yeah. It, it hits somebody who can find their voice. But yeah. most of the time, these people never have a voice, they never, you never hear from them. Absolutely. We saw in Liverpool, we've seen in other working class yeah. communities, which is where they get put. I mean, I don't understand why. We've got the technology to identify places where Guardian readers, you know, Labour voters, li liberals who want open borders migration yeah. live. Put the, the cross-channel migrants there and then let people who have these opinions deal with the consequences of these opinions. Anyway, I do wish the best for, for RAF Scampton, which apparently was in line to get some kind of huge um, sum of money well, in order to convert this is the thing, they keep being told a... they're going to be part of the levelling up plan yeah. and then it doesn't happen. No. And so this is... They were going to become like a centre of aeronautical excellence instead of which they're going to become like a... Very oh. the second two-star hotel no, they're full, gonna, full of unemployable, yeah. Diversity is strength. They're going to become very strong. <laughs>